Jones, good to see you again. Um, just finished making my lunch for tomorrow and uh, I want to talk about another topic. Um, composting. We have, I've got some lettuce butts, if you want to call them that. Um, the part that you don't want to eat. I mean, you could, but who wants to eat these? Um, so I toss them in my container here. Um, you're probably wondering, why do I have a plastic coffee container? Well, I don't want to constantly run out to my compost bin, which we'll get to see in a minute. Instead, I keep a plastic container in my refrigerator. So I put any of my compost items in here, okay, any organics. You cannot put like meat in here. You can't put fats in here. You don't want to put um, any animal product in here, which hopefully you're sticking to that meatless Monday every day and you're not eating any of those products, but no dairy, no animal products, um, just organic material in here. Um, so I put the, I put the lettuce in here that I didn't want to eat. Maybe it's getting brown. You can put it in there. So instead of throwing it in the garbage and it goes to a landfill, which isn't too bad. It does break down the landfill. Um, instead, I put in my container here. This is going to go in my refrigerator until it gets full. Then I'll take it out to the compost bed, um, which it's, it's almost full. Why don't we make a trip out there? So I'll meet you out there and we'll talk in a few minutes. Oh, good. You came out with me. Um, welcome to my compost bin. Um, compost bins come in a lot of different sizes. I made a homemade one um, out of cinder blocks. Um, the, this is just to keep the animals out. I was having problems with some animals, probably coyote or fox getting into it, and my own dog, Xander, once in a while. Um, so I had to put this wire on the front and some weight to hold it in. But um, yeah, this is a compost pile, compost bin. Um, as I said, we took our food waste and we'll just dump them in there and let nature do its course. Um, what's going to happen is every once in a while I take my shovel and I'll stir it up and just work it up and all of this starts breaking down into nutrient-rich compost. Um, I started a vegetable garden a few years ago um, and usually in the spring I'll take the compost out of here, I'll put in my vegetable garden, mix it up into the soil, and it's adding nutrients to the soil. So instead of this going into a landfill and filling up the landfill, it's going into my garden doing some good. Um, if I find I have too much compost, what I do is I just spread it out of my field. Now composting, it comes in a lot of different sizes like I said. Um, upcycling old pallet I had so keeps the animals out um, you can do it in the city you can do it in residential areas but you have to be careful watch your regulations sometimes the villages towns they frown on composting but they have contained systems compost systems where they're basically a, a drum you put the food in and every once in a while you just crank a handle and stir it um, and after so many months you have nutrient-rich compost put on your garden so it's all depends on how much space you have I've seen compost bins made out of wooden pallets put into a square and they people just put in there um, you can do a two-chamber compost bin um, where you have, uh, with mine, I have the cinder blocks. I would have put cinder blocks down the middle so I have two chambers. So the fresh stuff gets dumped into the one. As it starts breaking down, I start reaching, shoveling in there, reaching, getting the under stuff that's, you know, decomposed already. I put it into this side. And then when this side's broken down, stir it up every once in a while. Add some leaves to it. Um, you rake the leaves in the fall. Add that to it. Grass cuttings. Put that in there. So any organic material, once it breaks down enough, then you can spread it out in your garden or toss it in the field if you don't have a garden. Um, and then you take the stuff in the newer pile, stir it up, put it over to the side. So um, I've seen two and three chamber compost bins before. Mine seems to work um, for my needs doing just the one chamber. Um, it, it doesn't take a lot of effort. It just once a week when I bring the 
you know, compost out here, I do take my shovel and I stir it up. So that's your challenge for this week. Um, start composting. If you don't want to get into something this big, they do, you have to buy them online. I'm sure you can make one. I haven't even tried yet, but they do make worm composters that fit right underneath your sink. I've seen them before. They don't smell like I thought they would. Um, the one that I saw was at a nature site. They had it under the sink, went into their kitchen, and um, I was rinsing off some dishes in there, and they said, oh, did you check out our compost bin? I'm like, you have a compost bin in here? I was expecting to smell it, to know it was there, and no, there were I, no odor. Um, and they just opened up under the sink, and they had, they had a little compartment in there, and there was a worm composter, so you could go that way too. Um, so lots of different ways to compost. Um, that's your challenge for today is to start composting instead of throwing your food waste into the garbage. Okay, should be fairly easy. I hope so. If not, you know, maybe you'll skip this one. I hope not, but you know, it's all right to skip one once in a while. Um, keep up the good work. We're beyond the halfway point. We're, you know, we're doing great. Earth Day is coming up. So look forward to that one with you. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Head back inside, get more compost.